If you need to run a refund or a void, you can do that through the virtual terminal by going to credit cards or electronic check, depending on which one you're doing, and do void or refund. In either case, you're gonna be taken to a page that asks you for a transaction ID. You can either paste this in here, and it's gonna be the same on the capture page, or you can search. That takes you to the reports page, and we're gonna to go to the bottom, hit submit to just show me all my transactions, and this account currently has two transactions on it. One sale for $2, and a authorize and capture for $30. I'm gonna to go to this $2 transaction and click into the transaction ID. I can see all the transactions information, and there's a few buttons here at the top that will help me out. I can void or refund. Because this transaction was run today and is currently in a pending settlement status, I can still void it. After settlement is run, the void link will disappear from here and you will no longer be able to void, but a refund will always be available. In this case, I'm gonna do a void. I tap that, and it takes me back to the void page where I can have the transaction ID already filled out, I hit void, and there we go. The transaction has been voided. When I go back to my reports, I can see a void action is now associated with this transaction, and the status is canceled. If I go back into this transaction ID, you can see the options to void and refund are gone because this transaction has already been voided and no further actions can be taken. Now let's look at a refund. I've got an authorization and capture, when I go into the transaction, I have those same two options, but I'm going to run a refund this time. On a refund, it'll automatically fill out the transaction ID, and I also have the amount here. So while a void will always get rid of the entire amount of the transaction and essentially attempt to erase the transaction from happening, a refund is a second transaction that your customer will see. So in this case, they were charged $30, so they'll see a $30 debit on their account, and when I run this refund, they'll see a $30 credit back onto their account. I can change this to any amount up to or equal to the $30 that I had before. I'll do a partial refund in this case. We're gonna give them $25 back. I can see the merchant defined fields that I had selected and I can send an email receipt if I'd like. If I'd like them to get an email, if there was an email address associated with the transaction, uh, I could send an email to them showing them the approved refund. I'm gonna hit refund and there we are. It was successfully refunded. And you can see the amount of $25. When I go back to my reporting, you'll see the original authorization and capture still here, and they're still in an approved status, but now I have a new transaction for card refund.